Hey, what's up, guys? It's Graphic Phoenix back with another video today. Today is the eighth day of May Madness. For those of you that don't know what May Madness is, May Madness is where I post a video every single day in May. Some days you'll get plant stuff, some days you'll get reptile stuff, some days you'll get frog stuff. So today happens to be one of those plant videos, but it actually does relate to frog keeping because this is going to be how to prepare plants from greenhouses and garden centers to be suitable for your terrarium or vivarium. So today I have an assortment of plants. As you can see, I have a large bromeliad from Ikea. Now with Ikea, they actually use full soil fertilizer. So you have to make sure that you clean out the soil and rinse off the plant really, really well and, and just get it clean. Make sure that nothing's going in with your frogs or whatever you might be putting it in with. From over here, these were actually from Home Depot. Home Depot, where I am, is actually famous. Well, not famous, but in my household, is famous for having uh, a lot of pests on their plant. Now, I expected these pretty quickly, uh, and they looked like they were really, really good. So I decided to pick up these two. This is a Fetonia, or a Nerve plant. As you can see, it's very unique. Its leaves are quite thick. It's super, super cool. So I decided to pick one of those up. This is a Pilea spruciana. So I think these will both do great in terrariums. I guess we'll just have to see. And this is just Fetonia, as you can see. With these guys here, basically what I'm going to be doing is just unpotting them and then rinsing them off. This one, the bromeliad, is basically the same, but you just have to know what's safe and what isn't for your terrariums. Ideally, what you're going to want to be doing is taking the newest leaves after you've repotted it and using those for your vivarium. Now, obviously with a bromeliad, that's not really that possible, but for these guys, uh, I'll grow them separately for a while until they start doing well, and then I will start experimenting and using them in terrariums or vivariums. So with that being said, these guys are kind of hard to clean each individual leaf, but if you're doing something for like a chameleon or something larger that has a risk of eating the leaves, then what you're going to want to do is actually get uh, those little makeup pads that your mom or sister probably uses, and uh, you basically just put rubbing alcohol on there, and you go in there and you just start rubbing each individual leaf. Now, that is crucial. I did have a video one year of me buying a plant for uh, Kai, and I di actually did that for it. Uh, I'm not going to do that for these because these are just for the uh, dart frog tank, so I'm not going to do that for this. With that being said, I think we can go in here and just start unpotting so you guys will see the process. As you can see, these are quite root bound obviously. Now, one thing that I will mention is that you are going to be uh, destroying a lot of roots during this because you really should make sure that you get uh, most of the soil out. So you will be destroying quite a lot of roots. I'm going to send you guys into a time lapse right now. I'm just going to unpot all these plants and then I'll be back when I start rinsing them off. One thing that I'm going to be doing a little bit differently with the bromeliad is actually cutting off all these roots. Uh, these are just meant for anchoring and stuff, so I'm going to leave a little bit in there just to have it stable when I repot it. But most of these roots will actually be coming off because they're not actually bringing in nutrients for the plant. It's basically just anchoring it to the substance that it was in. So most of these will be coming off.
So I'm here at my shower. This is basically where I do all my washing and uh, cleaning of the plants. I'm just gonna spray down the leaves a lot, clean out the root system, and then I'll be ready to set them up for life in my greenhouse tank. And now that the washing's all done, we can actually go back and replant these. So, I know, I know in the beginning of the video, I said you guys should wait to plant these into any terrariums or vivariums that you have. I did decide to plant one in my erratus tank, as well as one in my just kind of leaf tank, like there's no animals in there, just to see if they would kick off. Uh, in here, as you can see, it looks like uh, wherever the rhizomes touch the soil, they will actually grow roots, so I'm going to bury this quite deep in the pot, and then I only have one other plant to plant in this pot. So that is what I'm going to do. Um, there's nothing really to it. I mean, if you're familiar with planting plants, then there's nothing really special about this. Uh, pretty deeply in there. And this is the, the mix that I'm using is just Pro Mix potting soil so it does have nutrients and stuff in it um but i mean i just trust a little more than whatever the the big box stores are using And boom! So that's repotting these guys here. It's nothing special. I mean, it's just repotting any tropical plant that you may be repotting. Uh, I will do... So bromeliad that I have, obviously, is absolutely massive. I'm just going to be showing you kind of the root system. But basically, I'm planting it in orchid mix because it is... Uh, bromeliads are epiphytic, so uh, they do not actually grow... It. Well. Most bromeliads don't actually grow in soil. Instead, they grow in, like, bark and stuff like that, or on trees. So, what I'm going to be doing is basically just planting it in a pot with orchid bark. Because that makes the most sense. And there you have it. Super simple. I know that probably wasn't in focus at all that whole time. But you can see here, it is potted up. It's nice and sturdy. You can push it in pretty tightly <clears throat> because um, the roots are quite fine on these. So I'm not too worried about uh, like large, thick orchid roots might not be great for it. But I push those in pretty tight. You can see there, it is a beautiful bromeliad. I'm super excited to have this one in here. Well, that being said, everybody, I know it was kind of a... A weird or shorter video but I did have a couple people looking uh, kind of asking me how do I do this because I don't really know how to clean plants for dart frog vivariums 
So I figured that I'd film this episode for you today. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave it in the comment section down below. If you like the video, drop a like down below. If you want to see more videos for May Madness, definitely subscribe to my channel. If you have any video suggestions, definitely leave them in the comment section. I want to thank you guys all for watching. Graphic Phoenix, out of here.